Hi everybody, thanks for being here. It's Tuesday. It's the 13th day of March already. We're quickly closing in on the halfway mark of the third month uh, indeed. Glad as always to have you with us. We're also closing in on another round of snow showers. Nothing to the tune of what we saw 24 hours ago or 25 years ago. And on that note, did a little digging today. I know that we have video that exists. Of course, it was pre-your news today but in regards to the big snowstorm of 1993. So far, I haven't been able to lay my hands on it. Still looking, as it was still kind of going on. If you have any to share, pictures or otherwise, be sure and let us know. We'd like to include that before the passing, so to speak, of the 25th anniversary of the storm of the century, snowstorm of the century. Uh, on tonight's forecast, we'll talk about potential for some snow tonight. McGoffin and Johnson County now included in an updated winter weather advisory. I'll have that for you as we talk about snow showers that could ramp up after midnight. We'll tell you when and where and how much we might see. And actually, we'll get to that. Well, let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the most recent update from the National Weather Service that has us in the one to three inch category. We're reserving those still, that three inches for the upper elevations. Another round of snow tonight. And in fact, in the most recent update, McGoffin and Johnson County now included in the winter weather advisory area. We were right on that fringe earlier, but now very well in it with several other eastern Kentucky counties, all of which may see a dusting to a couple of inches of snowfall right now. The most recent uh, updates included that winter weather advisory seeing up to two inches of snow with some locally higher amounts possible. Now, outside of that winter weather advisory, maybe a dusting to a half inch or so, localized up to one inch or so. The greatest threat for impacts to roads and visibility will be from 11 o'clock tonight to 7 o'clock in the morning, somewhere around midnight, I do believe. Snow showers will start to pick up and continue throughout 7, 1 to 3 inches. I'm going to go with the middle of that for us here in the viewing area. Yeah, and on our today's date in weather history, most all of eastern Kentucky right in the middle of that storm of the century in 93. The London Corbin Airport and Jackson Weather Office set new daily snowfall records. London 7 inches, but Jackson just a fuzz under 20 inches of total snowfall on today's date. The daily snowfall record on the 13th, that 19.8 inches, was the most snowfall ever received in a 24-hour period at Jackson. That record still stands today. If you've got any video or photographs you'd like to dig out for that, like I said, send them my way. Anything else to add in opening remarks? A couple of stories today that uh, will not be ready to air as of uh, 6 o'clock, as of now. Uh, Johnson County Fiscal Court coverage will hold off. I couldn't get to it today. The Paintsville City Council coverage from last night will uh, be included, at least a couple of discussions therein. And partly for a couple of technical issues, one of which I know uh, kept a lot of folks from seeing the 11 o'clock show last night, and I think it was only last night at 11. Nevertheless, an encoder, don't ask me what it does or what it is, but nevertheless, an encoder uh, had an issue last night, and thank you for all the phone calls and letting us know, but uh, there were some repairs made to that this afternoon, uh, and we hope to have that fixed should that not be. I know if those folks might not be hearing me if per they're watching the 11 o'clock show again but if you're watching the six o'clock show tonight uh, and there are any issues uh, it, there was no way to test that until we actually did a, a run of it so to speak so uh, hopefully everything uh, while firing on eight cylinders now in regards to the six and 11 o'clock show so uh, more on that well, hopefully not on tomorrow. A couple of announcements before we get to local headlines. Governor Matt Bevin has sent a letter to President Donald Trump. He did so late last week requesting a presidential disaster declaration for a total of 22 eastern Kentucky counties that were hit during the severe flooding last month. That, of course, caused over $18 million in damages to highways, bridges, and local infrastructure. The governor says that the requested presidential disaster declaration will provide eastern Kentucky counties with federal assistance to repair local infrastructure damaged by the recent heavy rainfall. And these counties were negatively impacted by flooding, mudslides, and landslides and are, need, are in need of assistance from all levels for local recovery efforts. He says he was grateful for the continued work of all local officials, emergency management, and others who assisted. It took 16, rather $6.2 million, as I told you a couple of weeks ago, after speaking with a representative 
uh, on the state level and federal level to meet that threshold and it looks as though they have added up about 18 million dollars three times what it would have taken to get that federal assistance bell breath at clay estel floyd harlan johnson not knox lawrence lee leslie letcher mcgoffin martin metcalf owsley perry pike powell whitley wolf counties all in that mix of getting some 18 million dollars the red cross uh, the voluntary organizations active in disaster voad for short and other groups are continuing to assist local residents who have immediate needs the commonwealth has been granted 19 federally declared disasters as a result of severe weather and flooding since 2009 in kentucky I'm told is one of only 12 states in the country to qualify for enhanced assistance due to the frequency of disaster efforts. That should not come as a surprise to you as it does not to myself. Another announcement this time that Attorney General Jeff Sessions is coming to the Commonwealth. He's doing so this Thursday. Jeff Sessions coming to Kentucky to address the opioid epidemic. He is expected to hold a panel discussion with families who have overdose victims among them the u.s attorney's office announcing just today that he will be here just before three o'clock on thursday to deliver his remarks and be a part of that discussion uh, he will actually deliver a speech i think sometime around 3 30 as well uh, his last trip to kentucky was in february when he was in louisville they're also talking about the opioid crisis local headlines are next Catch the early spring specials before they're gone. A new shipment of mowers, push, rear, and all-wheel drive walk-behinds, trimmers, air compressors, power and hand tools, and more. Plus new shipments of guns and ammunition every week. And don't forget, they'll always loan you cash today on anything worth a dollar at Parkway Gun and Pawn. Appalachian Wireless says no contract, no credit check, no monthly bill. Well, no problem. Yes, Appalachian Wireless is at it again and proving why they are the region's best wireless provider by offering new forward pay pricing. A plan where you can bring in your own device and get 5 gigabytes of data for just $39.99 and unlimited data for just $79.99. Pay up front and get the data and features you want. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Service restrictions may apply. Activation fee is extra. See store for complete details. Unlimited data slowed to 25 gigabytes per month to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets. Your single largest investment in life is most always your home. And whether they're necessary or optional, a weekend project or a major renovation, we can help finance your home improvements and make your vision a reality. Spring is almost here, so it's time to get ready, get set, and improve with Sagersville National Bank. Call or drop by the main or branch locations today. They call it the Fiverr, the five spot, names for a $5 bill. And now you can add a new one. Best lunch deal ever. Because every weekday during lunch at your Sagersville Lee's Famous Recipe, for a total of five bucks, that's five bucks, taxes and all, you can get our famous chicken sandwich or two of our famous chicken biscuits with potato wedges and a drink, or our steak sandwich or two steak biscuits with wedges and a drink, or our famous foot-long hot dog with homemade chili, wedges and a drink for five bucks. That's five deliciously awesome deals for only five bucks. Every weekday from 11 to 2 at your Sagersville Leeds. The flu has now reached epidemic proportions and if you aren't or haven't been sick, odds are you will be. And Parkway Pharmacy has exactly what we all need to fight it and any other cold or illness. From immune boosters for adults and children as young as two to all natural homeopathics made right here in the United States of America. They can help prevent you from getting sick or get you fast relief if you already are. With great tasting and easy taking gummies, powdered mixes, rapid melting fruity tablets and syrups at Parkway Pharmacy. We are all human. Because we're not perfect, we tend to make mistakes. Unfortunately, some mistakes are severe and carry more consequences than others. If you have been hurt in a car wreck, a truck wreck, or because of someone's mistake, reckless or careless behavior, you deserve help with your medical expenses, lost wages, and serious permanent pain and injuries that you have been made to suffer and will continue to suffer for the rest of your life. If you have been injured, I can help. I'm attorney Don Wayne McFarland. Call me and let me go to work for you. 349-9000. 
local governmental meetings kick off this week. They usually start uh, calendar-wise if they're all in regular session in Paintsville and Johnson County, and then we cover them throughout. And Paintsville and Johnson County were first last night with the City Council meeting and Johnson County Fiscal Court, the first of which we'll cover tonight. Two main topics uh, were discussed that we'll refer to a CRS meeting, a community rating system in an effort to help assist in lowering flood insurance rates for Paintsville residents and the details on the upcoming spring cleanup campaign for Paintsville too. One of the first discussions centered around efforts to lower flood insurance for Paintsville residents and those residents are invited to attend a meeting on that subject this Thursday evening. A CRS meeting 6:30 Thursday evening at the rec center with the newest member of the Big Sandy Ad Board, Monica Spriggs, outlining the importance of the meeting, with CRS standing for the Community Rating System. So the Community Rating System is something that the city's already participating in, and basically it's an incentive program to get a discount on flood insurance. And um, what I was working to do is actually try to improve our rating. And uh, we're a level nine. It's a it's a one through ten rating. Level nine is the is what we are now. That's a five percent discount. And we're trying to improve to to get up higher. Uh, the goal was a, a level seven or a rank seven um, to increase the discount. And uh, so my internship that was basically what I worked on primarily for the city. And uh, a lot of that's outreach, uh, putting things in the library, things like that. And um, so there, part of that is a flood plain plan that Gary and I have worked on in Regina as well. And that's what the meeting will actually be about. And, you know, we really welcome the input of the community to help us come up with ideas to actually, uh, for mitigation ideas, for flood awareness, things like that. So um, I'll be here Thursday as well. The flood insurance plan they are trying to develop is specific for the city of Paintsville itself. They're not changing existing flood maps or lines, but they would welcome any input and the attendance from anyone who has to carry flood insurance who lives in Paintsville. And with spring just around the corner, details announced on the annual spring cleanup campaign by the mayor. April the 16th through the 20th. That's when we can put stuff out That's and when we you don't can get charged. put stuff out and you don't get charged. Okay. Let me read this to you, make it clear. <laughs> City of Paintsville has designated the week April 16 through 20, 2018 as Spring Cleanup Week. Anyone who has extra trash to be picked up should call City Hall and you will be put on a list for the week. Now, if you don't get picked up within that week, Miss Virgie, we will come and get it anyway, correct? It'll take them three or four weeks. It'll take them three or four weeks. So don't pay attention to that, actually. Uh, you will be... Excuse me, they have to call during that week, though. Yeah, you got to call during that week, but that doesn't mean that we have to get you during that week. We have to pick stuff up during that week. Yeah. I'm going to call you in the morning. That'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you will be allowed one pickup load during that week. That is, again, the week of April the 16th through the 20th. One pickup load, as the mayor described, no tires, no paint cans, no construction materials. Moving on, the council approved the request by Paintsville Utilities to purchase a new excavator with utility funds. They approved the sale of surplus equipment from the Paintsville Country Club, I believe kitchen equipment. And a brief update on Carter Lane, some good news. After a long battle, the city has now, with, of course, assistance from FEMA, purchased two of the eight properties that have structures on them. They're scheduled to purchase a third this Friday and four more scheduled purchases for March the 22nd. That leaves just two more thereafter. The second phase of the project yet to be approved, but expected to be, will include the demolition of those properties. Another day, another felony arrest pertaining to methamphetamine in Sagersville last night per a complaint not related to the arrest that Sagersville police were on on MASH 4. Officer Nichols, Mike Nichols with the Sagersville Police Department had just left a complaint in the MASH Fork area when he encountered a car in the area uh, in a suspicious nature to which he made a traffic stop on the vehicle. There were three individuals inside. Uh, he also questioned those three, and in the jacket belonging to one of those vehicles and that was inside the car, 
Uh, he found a bag of meth, uh, undescribed prescription pill, another baggie with an unknown substance still to be tested and confirmed at the state lab in Frankfurt, also a syringe, and thus charged 46-year-old Ronald Hensley of Sagersville with possession of meth in the first degree, possession of a controlled substance in the first degree, still unspecified, and possession of drug paraphernalia. More news and calendar announcements in just a few seconds. Hi, I'm attorney Jeff Lovely. When hiring an attorney, experience does matter. For over 20 years, I've been representing clients throughout Eastern Kentucky. We are a full service law firm, representing clients who've been injured in car accidents or at work, representing clients who need to file bankruptcy, representing clients who've been charged with a crime. For all your legal needs, contact my office when it matters. We have two locations for your convenience, in Sayersville at 349-4522 and West Liberty at 743-1965. Hi, I'm Bill Mead and I've dedicated over half of my life to law enforcement and protecting my community and family. In my 29 years of service, I've received several federal accommodations for my part in major drug cases. I have 17 years experience in narcotics investigations. 10 of those years as a sergeant with the Kentucky State Police Drug Enforcement Special Investigations East Unit. I've received the highest level of training in criminal investigations and I know exactly what it takes to successfully see a criminal case through the state and federal court systems. As your McGoffin County Sheriff, I will review every investigation and ensure that you're treated with respect and dignity. My name is William Bill Mead, number three on the ballot, but number one for McGoffin County. Thank you. To all of her current and future patients, Hope Family Medical Center and Big Sandy Healthcare are proud to announce that pediatrician Dr. Leslie Ann Dotson has joined Big Sandy Healthcare's new Physicians for Women and Families Complex in Auksher, where she's now a part of a team of three OBGYNs, two family medicine physicians, and their nurse practitioners. That's Physicians for Women and Families, open Monday through Friday at 23 Willow Drive in Auksher a part of the Big Sandy Healthcare family. Need a work truck? Need something to haul with, maybe to hunt with, or to just get from A to B? Then call John Harris at Gateway Motors in Sagersville on the Mountain Parkway and get pre-approved with no money down and with most payments under 200 bucks a month. Gateway Motors in Sagersville, three, four, nine cars. Hello, McGoffin County. Matthew Wireman again asking for your vote and support in the May primary for county judge. Living in McGoffin is tough. We know that, and so does everyone else. In fact, an article in the New York Times lists McGoffin County as one of the 10 hardest places to live in America. Folks, we know McGoffin County can do better than that. I want McGoffin County to prosper. I want to see opportunities for our people to work here at home. I want to see opportunities for our children to lead successful lives right here in McGoffin County. I want to see our local government operate as efficiently as possible so we can lower the county's taxes. I learned real quick that the Office of Magistrate didn't have any real power or influence. It doesn't open any doors in Frankfurt, and it doesn't open the eyes of potential businesses. The key to opportunity, the key to prosperity for McGoffin County is the Office of County Judge Executive. Elect me, Matthew Chimer Wireman, as your County Judge Executive and together we will unlock McGoffin County's potential and show the world that McGoffin County is a great place to live, work, and raise our kids. Thank you. Looking back to over the weekend, we now have the following congratulations to share after the Big Sandy Idol competition wrapped up and have a winner crowned from Johnson Central High School. Eastern Kentucky's best vocal talent from around the region was on display this weekend at the MAC. Sorry, I missed it, but students from area high schools gathered Friday and Saturday to become the next Big Sandy Idol of 2018. 28 students representing high schools from around the area, Floyd Johnson, McGoffin, Martin, Pike, competed. And Miss Aaliyah Allen from Johnson Central brought home the coveted title of Big Sandy Idol at the regional competition. She gets a full paid scholarship, a coveted spot with the elite Big Sandy singers and band, and an album recording. While Celeste Turner from Paintsville High School was the runner-up, also received the senior award as well, which earns her a spot with the elite Big Sandy singers and band. Other awards? 
Gracie Combs from Floyd Central, second runner-up. Mallory Bowling of East Ridge was the essay contest winner and the social media video winner. And Cassidy Clatworthy of Wesley Christian, the idol social media winner. And this year, a special award given to someone in the community who was fighting the good fight. Last year, Heather Gearhart was battling cancer. This year, she is in remission but wanted to give a thank you to someone who is making a difference. The award received by Troy Burchett. Troy, a former member of the Big Sandy Singers. He's been legally blind since birth but continues his music career and donated his album release party money to the local animal shelter. That's exactly how cool is that. Clayton Case, the director of fine arts, seen to the right here in this photograph, and executive director of the MAC, said an event of this magnitude would not have been possible without the support of their sponsors. The Big Sandy Singers and Band and the Big Sandy Idol Regional Competition have awarded more than $500,000 in scholarships since it started 12 years ago. Also, how cool is that? Much more to come right now. Here's what's happening on tonight's McGoffin Farm Bureau Community Calendar. One thing that I've always cherished and been a bit humbled, well, not more than a, very humbled by, was the age range of those who watch this show. And this one, although he's just now three, already a devoted viewer, I am told, and a big fan of your news today. And I am just privileged and humbled to, to by no means. I don't know how to describe it. William Lander Reisner, and I think it's L-A-N-D-E-R, if I've not got that spelled right. Lander, William Lander Reisner, from his mom and dad and all of us here at Your News Today, happy, happy birthday. And anniversary wishes going out tonight. A happy 26th anniversary, Dwayne Grigsby. From Ruby, who loves you more than anything, your best friend loves you lots. 26 years to Dwayne and Ruby Grigsby. Happy anniversary. A few things just in on our calendar. North McGoffin Elementary Site-Based Council has a regular meeting set for tomorrow at 4.30. That's North McGoffin Site-Based Council tomorrow, 4.30. And a few other announcements that are of time essence, so to speak. Bids and Beans, this is going to be a fundraiser, soup bean dinner and an auction, Head of Coon Creek United Baptist Church, Saturday at noon. they got furniture, quilts, pies and cakes, all to raise money for their church and organization. An auction and soup bean dinner this Saturday at noon at the Head of Coon. And several other calendar announcements, but a lot of them for several days down the road, so we'll get to those when they get a bit closer. I do have one announcement for you and a reminder in regards to our funeral services brought to you by the McGoffin County Funeral Home, a reminder of services to be held tomorrow for Billy Ray Wagers, 39 of South Hill Road, who passed away on the 8th. Besides his mother, he's survived by his wife, Kelly Ann Cole Wagers, daughters Dakota, Cheyenne, and Megan Wagers, and son Samuel. Visitation is this evening and prior to tomorrow morning's services at 11, all from the Gun Creek United Baptist Church. Burial follows at the Crace Family Cemetery at Wilrim. And services to take place this Thursday morning at 11 in honor of 75-year-old Ethel May Brown Allen of Long Creek Road, who passed away on the 11th, married to Irvin Allen Jr. Besides her husband, she survived by daughters Linda Sue Brown and Brenda K. Howard. Visitation is this evening all day tomorrow and prior to Thursday morning services, all from the McGoffin County Funeral Home. Yes, Logan makes the best truck bodies on the market, and they also have a fully stocked warehouse of dump body parts, PTOs, hydraulic pumps, hoists, anything you need to get back on the road. And they are a full-service steel and aluminum service center. They keep I-beam, channel, angle, pipe, round rod, rebar, expanded metal, sheet metal, and aluminum all in stock. And if you've got a big project, they do commercial manufacturing to your specs. Logan, since 1904. Your best solution for diesel performance, upgrades, service, and repair is also a full-service repair center for all vehicles, gas, or diesel, from routine service to major repairs with a trusted auto body shop for minor dings to full-on restorations and rebuilds. 
Plus, get all your 4x4 accessories, lights, bumpers, winches, and more at Black Smoke Performance in Dixie of Sagersville. 349-8785. As oil and fluid changes, brakes, suspension, wheel alignments, and more, they've got thousands of tires in stock every day, and they won't be undersold on any tire they sell. They've got six months, same as cash, and over 37 years of service to the viewing area. With no appointment necessary, or you can call 297-2424. Hey everyone, my name's Tom Sager. I'm at Pop Chevrolet in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Please take advantage of the new weekly specials. Weekly specials that are priced so low they will be gone next week, like this 2013 Chevy Cruze for $169 a month, this 2016 Altima $209 a month. Go Rogue in this 2014 Nissan Rogue all-wheel drive, $229 a month. Or for $269 a month, you can drive off in this gorgeous 2016 Charger SXT or this 2017 Kia Sorento LX all-wheel drive. Thank you and stop in. It's not just jewelry, it's a movement. Handmade bracelets by Little Words. Pick one with a word that resonates with you or reminds you of someone who might need a little love a word to encourage or uplift, or wear one that inspires you and pass it on. The Little Words Project hopes to inspire a culture of kindness among women, young and old. Pick out one that you think will inspire someone you know, or pick one for yourself and see the happiness spread when you give it to someone who may need the same reminder you did. Available now at the Seasonal Shop in Salyersville. Hello, friends and neighbors. I am running for sheriff because I want to work hard to make our streets, schools, and homes safer. I am a certified police officer and a graduate of the Department of Criminal Justice. I will put my training and experience to work for our county, and I will work hand in hand with all other agencies. As a parent and officer, I know our kids are the most important resource, and I will do my very best to protect them and continue to tackle our drug problem. But I need your help. Please vote and elect Michael Nichols for sheriff. Number four on the ballot. Thank you and God bless. Well, here's a little update for you. Yeah, this is gonna be one of many scenes like this. Uh, makes you wanna lean a little more towards that three inch total, but uh, they're kinda like popcorn all over the radar. And this is what they're putting down. We've got a really stout northwesterly flow. And all the way through tomorrow morning, at least, we're going to pick up some of these squalls and some showers, and they're going to be brisk at times uh, and near whiteout conditions for some. So keep that in mind if you're traveling tonight, uh, early tomorrow as well. This is what we'll see. They'll be picking up intensity. You'll hit one. You'll come into some clear skies, and then, bang, there will be another one. And that's going to be the pattern for the next several hours, which you know, kind of makes fun of that 30% chance of snowfall that we've got in the forecast. But, uh, you know, not everybody's going to see it, but uh, most everybody will see at least a little. And once again, for a lot of folks, it's going to add up to a dusting, maybe an inch to an inch and a half for a lot of others. But 21, 21 degrees, those localized areas tonight will see the heaviest of snowfall. And it should be just enough, I think, or could be just enough with 21 degrees to cause some travel issues. I think a delay for tomorrow is certainly in the possibility a snow day as well for students in the viewing area. We'll wait and see uh, how much we see over the course of the overnight. We will only see about 38, 39 degrees for daytime highs on your Wednesday. Those flurry chances continue up into about 8, 9, or 10 or so. We'll start to clear up. I think even see partly sunny skies by mid-late afternoon. Winds still gusting out of the west, though, anywhere from 7 to 15 miles per hour, so a blustery day, snow coming to an end with clouds tomorrow night. Thursday, sunshine above, and the first of a few warmer days, uh, not all dry, but an improvement the forecast in regards to your weekend. I'll tell you about it in just a second. 54 for your Thursday, mostly sunny. Winds out of the west, 11 to 17 miles per hour. Those ushering in a slight chance of some rain showers, maybe mixing to some snow Thursday night. Lows right around freezing. Friday, pretty much mostly sunny, a 10% chance of snow, I think, uh, very early and then very late again as it's kind of in the middle of a couple of little setups. Saturday, 50 degrees, partly sunny, but 50% uh, chance of rain and snow possibly. And then Sunday is drying up a little more than what I had thought, close to 60 degrees. And I'm going to go with partly sunny and a few clouds and no showers for the latter half of your weekend. Lastly, let me say this, if all this snow is kind of getting to you and dragging you down 
Well, spring begins officially one week from today. We'll see if it's here in more than just the calendar, I guess, then. For now, thank you all for being a part of the show. We'll see you back here tomorrow night.